Alright, what's going on guys, Mr. Shock here, coming at you guys today with another video, and in this one I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the paintball custom game, um, how to set it up, and what kind of map you could play it on. So, I'm going to show you the BO2 version now, and then I'm going to switch over to Advanced Warfare. So, let's get started with the BO2 version. So, right now I have mine already done, I actually play it a lot, it's a ton of fun if you have not played it before. Which, I mean, if you're looking up this tutorial, probably. So, alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to keep, you can have, you can make the timeline in a round wind limit however you would like, however long you would like. Um, the search and destroy settings, the bo these are mostly if you're just going to, um, um, like just whatever, honestly. Um, some people what they like to do is put that all the way up just so that nobody can really cheat. Um, general, you're gonna want um, <clears throat> you could have the minimap on normal, team change in game. I, that's just allowed, and the auto team balance. Now this one I put on only if you don't want if you're gonna have like a group of people and you just want them to just randomly go through no no matter what basically. So I put that on, and health 200%. This is the main settings that you need: 200% health, health regeneration fast, and headshots only, so that they can, so that they, so that they're supposed to go for the head. All right. And what mostly a good idea is to play on raid. Um, the only reason behind that is, um. I'll show you is basically the one part where there's the pool. If you go there, you can split it up and say, "Hey, um, you can't go past a bomb," which I will show you real quick. So let me just go ahead and just spawn in. Oh, another thing too, <clears throat> preset classes. If you want, I, I would recommend it as always. Um, it's an FAL with a suppressor, 5.7 with a suppressor, lightweight, fast hands, dexterity, and EMP, just so that you can't fully Oxygen stun your destroyed. teammates. But basically objective. what you can just set to come up to somebody and say, alright, so you can't go past A-bomb. So this side would be whoever, so whoever's over there can't go past here. However, they can go inside there. And over here, you can go wherever. Now, I mean, well, I what I'm with my experiences, a lot of people like to do is go and hide and then just go, oh, headshot, I can go for it and do stuff like that. Um... Or even go up top there and hang out and look over and be like, oh, there's a guy up there and kill him. But, um, yeah, and then it's all played over here. And then basically what it's usually meant for is a 2v2 two two on 2 or higher. You can do a 1v1 if you want, but it's not as fun. Just because, I mean, usually there's just a lot of more people and it really kind of brings in the action. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it. And then on, if you're on this side too... You have a little hint of going over now. One thing too is if they go, if the other team, you could easily tell if they go past. Usually, if um they per se go like um go over to your side, you could easily just go and knife them, well two yeah. knives or just headshot them. But um yeah, that's basically it there. So all right, well my friend just joined, but that's all good. All right, so now I'll go ahead and show you the advanced warfare. Um, Good version. job, squad. Get ready for the next round. All right, guys. Now I'm going to show you the advanced warfare di version of this. This one's nothing too much different. However, if you want to make it even funner, we'll start it out like this. All right. So, first thing, if you want to make it a little bit more like realistic, go to options, which is your start button, and then you're going to scroll down past brightness and click paintball effects and turn it onto enabled. What that'll cause it to do is is when you shoot, it'll give it like a paintball effect if you miss. Um, that I really do like to use, especially. Um, so let me go ahead and go my moves, paintball. Alright, so this one, you're going to do the map. I recommend uh, Riot, because you're going to go right there um, into the police area. Um, mode, search and destroy the options. Um same thing like I said you if you want to what I do is I put on unlimited actually it would actually be a better idea to put um the round length and the score limit on unlimited only because so for 
so that the kill cam comes up whenever the person's eliminated, not when time goes out. Um, bomb timer and all that good stuff. To general, um, don't think there's an auto team on here, so that was just something that kind of. Or actually, no, there isn't, because when you go in, you can either click um, what team or you can click auto assign. So if you're going to uh, randomize it, just click auto assign. I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, respond delay, none, enable, none, none, because I mean there's nothing really. Now we're back to the health and damage again. Hardcore mode is disabled. Health, 200%. Health registration, I put mine on normal. I really don't see a difference when you play this if you put on normal or fast. So, um, friendly fire disabled. Number of lives, one, because it is search and destroy. Um, unless you want to make it interesting and be like, oh, I have to kill you twice to go out. Headshots only, yes. Like I said, headshots only makes it more of an experience because you can only aim up and not just for like the chest or anything. It's just straight up and then you have to shoot them twice and then they're dead. Um, custom classes, no preset. Uh, the preset classes for this one's a lot different because there's no FAL or that. So basically you're going to have an MK14, okay? Camo does not matter. And you're going to have a suppressor. You can have extended and quick draw. I only put that there because it does make for convenience. And just basically your those two guns, as long as you have a suppressor, you're good. That's all we at. That's all the really. That's the only thing that you really need. Um, but yeah. So down here, I have my suppressor and extended mags. Lightweight, fast hands. I don't really know exactly why I chose this. I just really you don't really need much perks. Um. Perk 3, I just chose Hardwired, honestly, because Scavenger you can't get unless you cross, which is basically an automatic disqualification. Um, I guess if you would like to, I think Toughness would actually be a good route to go, so that, um, for shooting it, it's a lot easier. Um, for this one, like, you really don't want to use anything that can really help, because you want to try to keep it as simple as possible. So, um... I have the silence your footsteps one. Uh, you could also do the overclock if you want, but that's kind of the main thing. Maybe just that, because I, I mean honestly, they're probably not going to use it anyway. But you also don't want to have something that could give you a disadvantage either. Um, and here I have my EMP grenades right there. Um, yeah. So I'll go ahead and show you guys. Yeah, and both teams need to make sure are the same so you guys have an even. Um, advantage and I mean like I said this is it, it all makes for a good time trust me um, same deal anything above 2v2 it is honestly makes for a really good challenge um, and because like I said if you do like a 1v1 it just doesn't make it really as fun especially if you're like if it's just you two it just doesn't seem like it makes it too fun at all Alright, so see right here what I was talking about, you can either do auto assign or say, hey, me and you go to Sentinel or you and you go to Atlas. But right now I'm just going to auto assign because nobody's here. And as you can see, it just disables all my classes and we'll go to paintball. And I'll show you where, and I'll show you what you can do here with boundaries and whatnot. Um, but the boundaries really aren't hard at all. Um. And but yeah, so you're basically you're going to go into the middle part in here. All right, so for this side, it's all over here. Basically, what we decided was anything is this is boundary right there, that little guy right there, and see the paintball effect when you enable it because like a yellow type thing. Um, but paintball boundary would be right around there. And then um, you could go up here, which this map honestly makes for really good um, sneaking up on. So like if somebody's over there and then you can just go, pow, 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 you're dead. And come down and just go for, for the final kill. Um, and there's nothing really else to it. I mean, like I said, this little thing, I mean, there's nothing that you could really do. I mean, because all the other exo abilities really do give off a disadvantage. Um... But like I said, it's your game. If you, if everybody else agrees, then go ahead. I mean, not saying that you have to put these settings on, but I'm saying this is like the main way of playing paintball on here. Um, so that's about it. I mean, there's nothing really else to it. You get a kill. Uh, you get the 
two people and then rounds over and then it keeps cycling through until uh, first to, well, what I do is first to 24 or first to whatever. I mean, if you guys want a short game, like first to five, I mean, yeah. So that's going to be it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this paintball video. Uh, I know I see a lot, but I haven't seen any game modes for Advanced Warfare yet. I have seen a couple on BO2, but um, they don't really give off too much. But um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please go and drop a like and subscribe. And I'm out.